As I've been consulting for people designing ventilation systems and higher performance HVAC systems, and at the same time, artificial intelligence, um, this entirely new model of artificial intelligence, which is called large language models. And if you don't know about this, I'm linking a video below, which I've already watched twice, but it's kind of spelling out some of the, um, the ways that life is gonna change um, in like very, very quickly. Uh, so please pay attention, but also I wanted to make a fun video about it, which is let's see if AI, as it is right now, can design a ventilation system like I do for my clients all day long. So this is the house that we're looking at. I'll give you the details in a minute, but this is the kind of ventilation system that somebody like me is concerned about, which is why I have a hard time doing things like duct design for people because my duct designs are not just a heating and cooling system. They are makeup air and uh, some kind of a fresh air system from outside. And we've got uh, dehumidification and we've got humidification and all of these different things are kind of plugging into different places in each home in a different customizable way, depending on what the occupants want. So by the way, this graphic is free on my website now, if it is useful to anyone else, this is kind of a general approach. It gives you a bunch of either or not both and some kind of criteria at the top uh, to deal with. So what we can do is just go to chat GPT and type in, my my request, which is design a ventilation system that controls our five factors, circulation, capture of pollutants and filtration, humidification and dehumidification, dilution with outdoor air, pressure relief uh, and pressure relief for a 3000 square foot home with four bedrooms, three bathrooms and a gym. Two adults, three young kids and a cat and a dog will live there. Uh, and several, uh, some of them have respiratory or cardiac health issues. And by the way, um, the main symptom of air quality uh, problems that are having a health effect on you is not respiratory. It is cardiovascular um, because the particles get into your blood system and then they kind of wreak havoc there. So I'm going to press return and we're going to wait and see how long this thing takes to do its job. It's thinking. It's thinking. I wanted to be as specific as possible about this, by the way, so that it would um, not just say, oh, ventilation, you mean like bath fans, bath fans would work, uh, because that's how most humans think about it too. So I wanted to kind of like train it a little bit that I'm looking at the five factors and also then give it the limitations of uh, what we're dealing with as far as the occupants and the, the uh, makeup of what the, the home is. So generally, I've heard that this takes about 30 seconds. Um, we'll see. I get, you know, it's possible that this doesn't have a lot. If you look on Google, for if you query Google for that, you're not going to get exactly what you're looking for uh, because hardly anybody is looking at um, home ventilation in this kind of holistic way as a system. Hopefully more and more of us do that. Okay. Now it just came back. So this is very interesting. It took uh, about a minute to do this. So it says, to design an efficient and healthy ventilation system for a 3,000 square foot home with specific requirements, we need to consider several factors. I love it already. Here's the suggested design. Number one, circulation. Install a central air handling unit with a variable speed fan to control the circulation throughout the house. This is kind of amazing. Hmm. Am I blushing right now? Like, jeez, <laughs> oh, Louise. Okay, it doesn't understand the pressure relief piece of it. Um, it also is recommending zoning, which is not something that I normally recommend because I didn't specify to this thing that it was going to be a very airtight house, which might be why it didn't um, come up with the pressure relief. Wow. Whew. Okay. So um, this is very, very good, actually. What we learned is pretty interesting. I am going to post these notes that it just pumped out here in the description of this video. But um, I am like very impressed 
to see that it took my directions and it came up with a bullet pointed circulation, pollutant capture, filtration, humidification, dehumidification, dilution with outdoor air, pressure relief, which it didn't really understand what I meant by that. And that's okay because I did not stipulate airtight, which is how almost all my clients are building. It did recommend zoning, which I think, again, if I said this is a super airtight, super insulated house, it may be smart enough to know that that takes away the need for zoning. Air purification, which is filtration. Yeah, like I don't know why they are saying air purification. Filtration is air purification. And what they're recommending is, again, filtration. So they said on filtration, uh, HEPA filter, which they don't actually make a HEPA filter. That's, I mean, they, <laughs> someone does. It's very expensive to do that because it's so restrictive. Pet considerations, regularly bathe and groom the cat and dog to minimize dander. Use washable or replaceable air filters in the AHU to capture pet hair and dander. Okay, so now it's contradicting itself. It's actually, that tells me it's not listening to what it just told me. Because now it's talked about three different filtration uh, strategies, which contradict each other. And then maintenance, schedule regular maintenance for the ventilation system. Crickets. Uh, I don't know who does that, but if you if you look around for somebody even to install a kitchen exhaust hood, you're not going to find probably most people, you know, most people in the entire country are not going to find anybody locally that can do that. Installing an ERV, for most of my clients, the HVAC companies that they're working with, this is their first time out uh, installing an HV HRV or ERV. I like that they put ERV first before HRV because that's good. That's how I would put it too. Uh, duct cleaning, inspections to ensure optimal, blah, blah, blah. Um, great. Okay. Like, honestly, this is a bang up job. That being said, do watch that video about this large, this large language model. Um, I've watched it twice already now, and it's pretty, it's astonishing what is possible and, um, that we need to like hurry up and get our act together on like being better parents. Essentially what we've got is a child, this thing, um, that we don't know how to parent. We're not like that advanced. Yeah, we don't have the technology to find out what this thing has learned so far, actually. So we just found out a little bit about it today. Feel free to comment or question if you have like other stories about using the new AI models to do things like this. Maybe we could have it come up with details that are more affordable or um, things like that. I think probably like in the construction industry, we're probably going to be a little slower on the pickup of this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Tune in next time.